Isaiah chapter 58, Hebrews, it's the 58th book of the Bible. Now verse 1 is a verse that we I've got printed and laminated in my street preacher's Bible. And when people come up and say, you're too loud, you'd be amazed on how many times the word aloud, speak up, cry aloud, loud voice. God doesn't want a preacher. Okay, everybody, not to be happy. The Bible says, cry aloud. <laughs> Let me heard. You know, well, you know, people come up to me. Now, Jesus didn't use the amplification. Yes, he did. Yes, Moses did. Jesus got out in a boat and, and, and preached from the boat to the beach, and he let the water be the amplification. They would let mountains and valleys and rocks be the amplification. And, and what people don't know and what Baptists don't know is that the church history is that street preachers would had used city buildings as an amplification. Benjamin Franklin would record a street preacher, Whitfield, four or five blocks away. That's because there's no airplanes, there's no car stereos, there's no radios, there's no machinery. Today, now you got amplification, I got to carry a sound meter with me. And you know, a lot of people, you know, we're going to shut you up, you're too loud. They're going to call. Upon God, God's going to say, hey, listen, my word said, speak up loud. God's given me a voice to be loud for the very purpose of preaching. Cry aloud, spare not. Now he's talking to Isaiah. He's like, Isaiah, you better preach every word I tell you. I don't care if, if they're your friends. I don't care if they're politicians. I don't care if they're your family. I don't care if they're poor. I don't care if they're rich. Spare not. I mean, take the word of God as a bowling ball. Put that bowling ball right down the center of the penny and get a strike. Don't go for a spare. Don't leave two or three pins. Take them all down. Lift up thy voice. Like a trumpet. I said I got that laminated in a verse. And show my people Israel. Their transgression. When you got a preacher. Who for years. Gets up and preaches. And does not show the people their transgression. That's not a God called preacher. If you go to a church and the Holy Spirit through that man has not hit your heart with the dart of sin, hey, that's what you're doing. I got you. That preacher ain't called by God. Now, listen, there are a hundred thousand different kinds of, of, of messages and sermons, and there's encouragement, there's strain, there's building up, but there's also, this is what transgressions is. And you're not going to get a message like that where the preacher pulls his file off the dust and reuses it. Mother's Day is coming up Sunday. I guarantee there won't be one message against mothers. It'll be fluty, tooty, cooty, flowers and goodies and stuff like that. And flowing chocolate. It would be a wonder to have one message, one preacher get up there and say, You mothers are a sin. How dare you show your children smoking? How dare you show your children drinking? Don't you go crying, Oh, what happened to my child? Your child happened to what you and your husband were doing. We won't get anything like that. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Preaching should be transgressions and sins and encouragement and growth and transgression and sins. Yet, they seek me daily. That sounds good, doesn't it? And delight to know my ways. That's God's ways. That sounds good. As a nation that did righteousness, as a nation that did, did, that's past tense. 
and forsook not the ordinance of their God. Sounds good. They ask of me of ordinances of justice. They take delight in the approaching to God. It's all past tense. Now, verses 3 down to verse 5, we're going to get into the hip hypocrisy, the carnal, the sins. <clears throat> About fasting. Fasting is when you have a period of time, and there's all kinds of fasting, <coughs> complete no food, no water, no nothing. And I'd be advised I would talk to my pastor and I would talk to my doctor. You got health elements and prescriptions. There are some people, no food, and they drink milk and tea. And there's different variations. Your health, we determine on what kind of fast you can do. Listen, you're, you're a diabetic and, and, and you need sugar, you need to watch your sugar. I wouldn't be planning two, three, or four day fast. You got medications you got to take and medications you got to take with food. Your fast may be an hour or two hours only. But wherefore have we fast? Now, this is what Israel said. Wherefore have we fast? Saying, thou seest not. We're fasting. God ain't looking. God ain't watching. See, God, look at me. I've been in a church like that. We're all going to fast. Look how, fast. Look how good we're fasting. We're going to fast on Friday. Then Friday we're going to go out and eat and have a good old time. You didn't fast on Friday then. You went out to eat. And look at me. Look at me. Look at well we're. And it wasn't a. It was. Look at us. Wherefore have we not afflicted, which is with reference to fasting. I mean, fasting is affliction. Our soul. And that thou takest no knowledge. God, you ain't paying attention to me. I want, I want your hand to come down from heaven and pat me on the back. How well. That's that. That's that man that went up to. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm good. I'm not. Is this guy over here? Look how wonderful he is. Look how much I tied. Look how well I do, God. That guy's got something. That, you know, the biggest thing of that. And he goes, "That guy. I'm not like that. Him over there. What are you doing looking at him when you're supposed to be looking to the Lord? Behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure. <gasps> what? How do you get pleasure out of... Oh, my stomach is hungry. Oh, I want something to eat. Oh, Lord God, give me the strain. Oh. They got pleasure. Again, I was in a church like that. And exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. <laughs> what? Well, our church fasted longer than your church fast. Oh, okay. Mary over there don't fast as much as I fast. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, you know, you're fat. You, you drink milk in your fast. How dare you drink milk? Fast has become a conflict. <laughs> where you should be encouraging each other. <laughs> you know, where the wife calls the husband at work. How you doing there with, with our, you know, they fasting together. <sighs> I'm having a hard time. Lord will get you through. I'm having a hard time too, and Lord get us through. You should call. I bet you got yourself a hamburger or something, didn't you? Yeah, you, you snuck the food, didn't you? Well, I bet you you're sitting there with a whole house with all kinds of food. I bet you've been eating. To smite with the fist the wicked. <laughs> What's going on here? You ever ask yourself what on? Oh, that's right. Most people don't read the Old Testament. Ye shall not fast 
as you do this day. To make your voice to be heard on high. Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm going to I'm fast and see my face. It's it's uh, it's hungry. Didn't Jesus say they're not to, to be in, in the street corner? And what Jesus is, thou shalt not go on the street and, and you know, proclaim everybody, you know, your face looks like you're fasting and you're uh, how you doing? I'm fasting. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, but I'm fasting. It's the time to fast to God. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Jesus, go off to be alone, wash your face, make it look, make it look like no one knows you're fasting. That's what Jesus, this is what Jesus is talking about in Isaiah 58. They were put in the show. You would look at him like, oh, and then they would, you, you would ask that, that question that you don't, there's some people, there are some people I met, you don't want to, how you doing, because they'll tell you their whole story. How you doing? I'm fasting. Uh oh, here we go. Is it such a fast that I have chosen? Is it what God? Their fast is to please the people, not God. Luke 18, 10 through 19. And when you got your afflictions and your in your rewards here on earth, oh you see look, that poor guy over there, he's fasting. And he's making itself known. There's your reward. There it is. There's no heavenly reward. A day for a man to afflict his soul. It, it, it's affliction. I got man. I, I I'm not really a person that fast. I've done it, and with my diet, I, I've done it. Hourly, but not daily. <coughs> Is it to bow the head as a bulrush? Yeah, you're supposed to be humble. The spread sackcloth. It's a time of, you know, just ashes under him. Will thou call this a fast? Acceptable, Daniel. Now, again, here's a show. Oh, my head down. I'm wearing sackcloth. I got ashes in my head. Look at me. <laughs> Is not this the fast which I have chosen? Here we go. To loose the bands of the wicked. To get you one on one with God to realize what's your wickedness. To undo heavy burdens. You, you, your, your fast is a Lord God. I need your help. This is serious. And to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. There was set times in Israel where there was a national time of fasting. Release the workers. And we're going to see in a moment. It's the time of the Sabbath. Just relax. Siesta. The Mexicans call it. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? <laughs> I've got food. I'm fasting for the Lord. That family don't have food. Take the food we were going to eat. Give it to them. When's the last time you heard anybody do that in the, in the church age? You know the preachers get up. Oh, you got to tithe. The, you got to tithe the money. Got to tithe the money. Malachi. Really? You know it says you're also tithe the fruits of the land. You're to tithe the the animals. I know plenty of people who make a living off animals having baby animals. I've never seen them bring their puppies, kittens, or cows to church. Here you go, Pastor. What's that? That's my tithe. No, 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 no. I want money. Yeah. Okay. You know, in the law, they were also tithe animals. Here's my dogs. Had I had... Litter of 20, here's two dogs. Yeah. And there was a time of the fast that, you know what? What we're going to eat, we're not going to eat. To make sure we're not going to eat it, we're going to give it to somebody poor. And that thou bring the poor that are cast out of thy house. 
when thou seekest the naked, that thou cover him, that thou hide not thyself by own flesh. It's going out helping others while you're, oh, my stomach. Oh, I want something to eat. I want a drink. It, it, it's, you really live the Bible to what the Bible has us to live. Then shall they light break forth as morning. When you do it God's way, not your way, when you do it for the Lord and not for the flesh, <coughs> when you do it hiding from the people what you're doing and for the honor and glory of God, then shall the light break forth as a morning. That morning light that comes up. That's beautiful. You see the sunrise. Thy health shall spring forth speedily. Now, who is he speaking to? Run to verse 1. Don't you go run into this verse and claim, name it, claim it for the church age. My people. Paul said he Paul said he, he had starvings where he couldn't get food, and Paul fasted. And he was ill health. Don't go run into this verse and say, well, you know, if you fast and fast right, you'll lose your you'll get your health. No, no. That's not Gentile. That's not church. That's my people, verse 1. Rightly divide the scriptures, my friend. And yes, Paul fasted. Like I said, uh, my error, I don't. Tried. Thy help shall spring forth speedily. My people, verse 1. And thy righteousness. See, we don't have righteousness in the church age. I cannot go before God and say, well, God, you know how righteous I am. No, my righteousness is Jesus and Jesus alone. What's the righteousness of the people under the law? I brought the animal. I swept my house completely of, of leaven. I went three times a year. I gave God my, my animals, my fruit, or whatever I had. I treated my neighbors right. Man, I ain't a Christian today, the church shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy rearward. That's not reward. That's, that's God behind you. Then shall thou call when you do it properly. And the Lord shall answer. See, when you give the service to God, do it in God's service, not the flesh. Salvation is, Jesus said, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Flesh says, let's have balloons, let's have gift cards, let's have, let's have concerts. Let's have a fish fry. Let's have a fellowship. Let's have a movie. Let's have a bowling night. Let's have bingo. Let's have sweet steaks. Let's have... That's all the flesh. When plain and simple, again, Jesus said, preach the gospel. Plant the seed, water the seed. And you know what the problem with that is? Not many times do you see the plant. You don't see the growth. And the people today, we've got to see the growth, we've got to see the growth, we've got to see the growth. And sometimes the growth of these churches today, they're not, they're artificial plants being brought up by artificial means. And those artificial plants don't produce fruit because they're not plants. And if they do have fruit made with plastic or wax, whatever, that fruit has no seed in itself. You got you either got artificial, <coughs> excuse me, or you got God. You can't have both. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, I here I am. If thou take away from the midst of the, the, the yoke, and put it forth the finger and speaketh vanity. 
If you do it God's way, you're going to get godly results. If you do it in a fleshy, carnal kind of way, if thou draw out the soul to the hungry, works. That's what that's one of the biggest thing uh, was last week. Somebody, well, why don't you go feed the homeless? Why don't you go feed the? Why don't you? We're not there to fatten people up to be juicy for hell. We're to be giving them the gospel, not feeding. Them. You know. You know what's interesting? You look at all the services for the poor people. And there's a church behind every single one of them. And the government says, let the churches do it. You got the Catholics do it. The Salvation Army does it. The Baptists do it. There, you know, there are churches out there. We have food kitchens. We have spaghetti meal. And we go out and help the poor. And we go out and get food and all. And that's wonderful, great thing. We've been in the church where they gave chicken to the homeless and all that. And they had the preaching. And we heard one woman get baptized three times. And the pastor acknowledged that she'd been baptized three times. And, in this, and listen, this may have worked years ago, but this day and age, there's not really any true fruit. I'm sorry. You got all these buses out there today, and they're busing them in. And the children are only learning the memory verse so they can get a Tootsie Roll. And there, there are kids out there, they're learning the memory verses so they can beat Johnny. They know more memory verses than Johnny. Didn't we just see that? About fasting? Again, it's that, you know, do it for God or do it for a big show. And there are churches out there that bring them in and they, don't, they, they water down the Bible or they give them veggie tales or they give them you know other stuff that's not the bible okay you may read the bible but then you go off into fairy tale land let me tell you i was in the church in ledger connecticut i was a sunday school teacher for one month and i gave my kids memory verses and we looked at those memory verses we're going to study those memory verses out and it, it got there Actually, it was over a month. No, I, yeah, I gave them a weekly memory verse. And about the second or third week, they weren't learning the memory verses. So what I did was, like the third week, I said, well, here's your memory verse. And I want you to go home. And I want you to have mom or dad, either one signed as they acknowledge that you told them you have a Sunday school message. Uh, Sunday school memory verse. And then next week you come back and try to give me a try to see what you learn. And I want that paper signed by one of your parents. Well, the fourth week the pastor called me in his office, and uh, the the click of the whole entire church, you know, a man that committed adultery two times, the pastor's favorite, complained to the pastor that how dare he have us try to sign a memory verse. And the pastor says, I'm going to have to not have you be a Sunday school teacher no more. What was my crime? Trying to insist the children to make sure their parents knew they had a memory birth and I couldn't be a memory, I couldn't be a Sunday school teacher no longer. So a guy was brought in and later on he, he committed adultery with his wife and the pastor hanged out with him and the family got ruined. You're either doing it for show or you're doing it for the Lord. Yeah, I'm going to start naming things now. I'll start naming names pretty soon. Later on, that pastor, well, you can't start a church because you didn't get my permission. You can't. Okay, bye. They try to say I'd be angry and rude and crude and everything like that. You're a liar. And if thou draw out the soul to the hungry, you help the hungry, it works. And satisfy the afflicted soul, you're comforting those who are fasting. You can do it. 
Again, you're not sounding that trumpet. What did Jesus say? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. <coughs> Jesus said, don't blow the horn, don't blow the trumpet. Hey, everybody look at me, I'm fasting. <laughs> you missed that, that, that cross reference in Matthew going back to Isaiah, didn't you? I know you did. Then shall thy light rise in scurrity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. The Lord shall guide thee continually. I got to do my throat on him. I apologize. How are you? And satisfy the soul in drought. And make fat thy bones. God will provide. God's a provider. And thou shalt be like watered garden, fruitful, wonderful, great. Bringing forth smells, bringing forth life, bringing forth fruit, beauty to the eyes, beauty to the ears of the, the birds singing. And like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. Run that to the Psalms chapter 1. That tree planted by the rivers of water. Or you could be by that dry tree by no water. They shall be of thee, shall build the old waste places, and shall raise up the foundation of many generations. You know, that was his old rebuild. Re it's bringing back to life. If you do it God's way. Now, Jeremiah is coming up. They didn't do it God's way. They rebelled against God. And there's destruction. There's ruin. They that shall. It pitches also the millennium. But it's God saying, Isaiah, will you tell them what it will be like if they will just listen to me? Everything. I'll listen to you if you listen to me. I'll bless you if you do it right. You say, well, churches are being blessed and everything wonderful and great. Wait till you get to either judgment. The judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment. <coughs> Excuse me. That's where you find out too late that what you've done was not correct. And you were forewarned. That child that, that, that mom made a, made a plate of cookies, and she tells the child, says, listen, those cookies are not yours. Keep your hands off them. And when he goes and steals a cookie, he knows. The word of God says what and what not to do. He knows. And he steals that cookie. Now, he's not going to be punished when he steals that cookie, unless mom's right there and the kid's stupid. I don't know if I can say that. The kid's stupid. But pretty much mom's going to be out of the room. And he steals that cookie and mom comes in. And there's an empty spot. Then comes the judgment. Either mom will do it or she has dad do it. And a lot of these churches today, these Christians, or maybe not Christians. Oh, look, everything's great. Everything's wonderful. I, I didn't get spanked. You weren't found out yet. You'll be found in the judgment seat of Christ or the great white stone judgment. Just because you weren't, you didn't get instant justice. Listen, the world doesn't get instant justice. There are people who, yeah, there are people put in jail wrongfully. And there are people who should be in jail and not in jail. There are people who walk out of a courtroom and say, I was right. Why did I get slammed? And there are people going to a courtroom and they, I was guilty as anything, but the judge, you know, and they walk free. And there are people who end up in jail. That's why we get the, that's why we get the justice seat of Christ and the great white stone judgment. God, the judge, will weigh it all correct. Were you in jail what you weren't supposed to be? God will sell it, and God will deal with the person that did the crime. 
Did you walk out guilty and, and nothing happened to you? God will get a hold of you. And the only way, and the only thing that wipes that all out, if you confess your sin. But the Bible says not only are we to confess our sin, to have faith in word, we're supposed to go, go right. That child that stole the cookie, that, 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 that child is a Christian child, he stole the cookie. He goes up to his mom and says, listen, I know you told me not to have, I took the cookie. Can I make a? Can I make more cookies for you? Can I? What? What? What can I? Uh, listen, I'm, I'm confessing. Then how do I make things right? Verse twelve, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach. That's a hole, and the restorer of the paths to dwell in. Now we're going to the Sabbath. That's not church age. I know the event is out there, Saturdays and all, you know, they're wrong. If thou turn thy foot from the Sabbath, now what's that mean? Now the Sabbath, you were allowed to go so far. I don't know what it is. There's different measurement. But what that's saying is, you know, it's the Sabbath day. You're not going to go on the journey. You're going to sit down. You're going to rest. From doing thy pleasure on the holy day. The holy day was the Sabbath day. You're not going to do nothing. You're not going to work. You're not going to play. <coughs> you're going to rest. That's what the Sabbath is. And call the Sabbath a delight. Oh, I rejoice in not doing nothing. I rejoice that I'm not going anywhere. I rejoice I'm with my wife and my children and my family. Thank you, God, for the Sabbath. And that's not what the Jews were doing. You know why the Jews went into captivity in Babylon? I think it was it 70 years, was it? You know why? God calculated all the Sabbath years. <laughs> That were not obeyed. God says, listen, I'm going to give that rest. I'm going to give that land rest that you didn't give it rest. Be not deceived. God's not marked. What sort of man so is that each other? God said, every seven years, that land is the rest. Not going to do it. That land will get its rest. It will. And you're going to enjoy the Sabbath. The holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor God, him, which they're not doing. And Jeremiah is going to come up to the queen of heaven. That's not God. Not doing thy own way. Got it? What's wrong with the churches today? They're doing their own way. They're doing the worldly way. They're not doing the biblical way. We'll open up the altar. All oh, high is closed and all. It's not how you do it. You're supposed to preach the gospel to the world that's outside the church, that's not in the church. While you're feeding the goats in church, the sheep are not getting fed. They're starving. And then you wonder why your sheep won't go and do anything. We got visitation this week. No one comes for visitation. They don't know how to visit. They haven't been taught. They're not interested because they haven't been fed with the Bible. That's why churches are closing. They're not being taught evangelism. They're not going out doing what God told you. So when the when the old people start dying out because the young is gone, then the church door is closed. Nor finding thy own pleasure. That's in the churches today, pleasure. 
Oh, isn't it beautiful? She sang a hymn. Yay! Oh, isn't it great? They got up and got, they stood up. Yay! Oh, look, we got visitors. Yay! That's everybody happy birthday. And yet we don't, we don't honor the new birthday of a person getting saved. We honor the day that we, they, I, they honor, I don't. The day that they were born in sin as the sparks fly, fly up back. Where Job and Jeremiah said, oh, I wish I was never born. I wish I was a stillborn. And the church is in their pleasure today. Oh, we're going we're gonna to have movie night. We're going to go to Mickey Rat Land. We're going to go to the roller coaster land and all that. We're going to have all great things. And visitation. We had two people show up. How many showed up at your fellowship? 30, 40, 56? How many people show up for church? 8, 9, 21, 36? How do you know the numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you got more people that show up for your pleasures than show up for the messages, you need to get rid of the pleasures. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, okay, I know. Sunday morning, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people came for the thing. That's a good number. More than last week. Oh, the pot roast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. Wow, we had a whole bunch of we had a whole bunch of people come to church this week. Footnote: a whole bunch of people came to pot roast, not the service. Oh, yeah, you know, when we when I prayed for the food, I mentioned Jesus. They weren't paying attention. They wanted the food. I've been there. I've been in carnal churches. Boy, 46. Bingo! I had a church one time I was in, 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 in Pawkatuck, Connecticut. Well, it's not Halloween. We're all going to have a dress-up party on the next weekend after Halloween. But it's not Halloween. Everybody enjoy, enjoyed it. Pleasure. And nor speaking thy own words. They put the Bible off the side, they get up, and they tell stories about their own life. And they tell preacher stories. And they tell veggie tales. And let us quote from people not in the Bible. Mr. Sinner, I'm going to quote, that died and went to hell. Let me tell you what he had to say. You didn't know that was in the Bible, did you? That's why we don't read the Old Testament. You wait till we get to Jeremiah. woo we. I lost my place. Verse 14. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. When you do it correctly, for the Jew, when they honor that Sabbath like they're supposed to, thank you, God, for the Sabbath. Thank you for the rest. Without their, you know, you know what the Sadducees and the Pharisees, and the, they put a whole bunch of burdens upon the people. <coughs> I could never quote the verse, but you know where Jesus said, "Ye that heavy laden, come, cast your burdens upon me." I, I know Christians use that verse. You know what Jesus was saying? Everything that the Pharisees and the high priests has put on you to do, the disciples didn't wash their hands. Ooh. You want a modern equation of that? He's not wearing a mask with COVID-19. Oh, he's not getting the shot for COVID-19. Oh, we are in the same time when the time of Jesus in the Jew. All this unnecessary. Jesus, you know what? Come to me. Come to me. I'll give you rest. The salvation that will come. You don't work to be saved. You work because you are saved. And, and let me tell you, I, it, it had to have been a shock. Because Jesus couldn't jump. Uh, listen, Jesus, the day after he rose from the grave and he sat with the disciples, Peter would have had a heart attack if Jesus pulled out a pork sandwich. 
And yet, the law is done. Peter had a heart attack. God puts down the sheet, eat and rise. Oh, no, Lord, not me. And Paul's over there. Ooh, this pig tastes good. I'm a Pharisee of Pharisees. I'm a Hebrew of Hebrews, man. I'm telling you, this food of the Gentiles, pew. And even Peter one day, he's at the picnic table. He's sitting down fellowshipping with the, with, with the people in there until the Pharisees and scribes showed up. And Peter took off. When you do it God's way, then I will cause thee to ride on the high places of the earth. Listen, the high places were the places where they're worshiping gods. God says there's a better high place. There are Christians today, oh, they launched a spacecraft. Isn't it so great to see the dragon go up? And, <laughs> and they don't even realize they're quoting the devil. We watched the dragon take off. Revelation 12 does not ring in your ears. Did you see the dragon take off? I don't want to see the dragon take off. I want to see the church take off. All those space things are named for the Roman and Greek, uh, the Apollo mission. I'm not waiting for what they put in our space. No, they sent four men in the camp. I'm waiting for the fifth one to come back. I'm waiting for the day they open up that door. We, one, two, three. Didn't we send four? I see five. Yeah. Build that golden image, Shadrach, Shadrach, and go. Aliens have landed, not in Roswell. You really believe that? I don't know what I believe. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, the, thy father. Israel. This whole thing's written to Israel. 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 For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Plain and simple. God is great. God is good. 